it came with one of the tubes broken. No big deal, you can always order another tube. But I want to get the thing running today because, you know, I have no patience. Hey, what's happening, guys? Just a quick video today. I bought an amplifier for the Ham Shack. This is an Ameritron AL811A. This is a 600 watt max amp. And it uses three of these 811A tubes. Each one makes about 200 watts of RF power. I bought it used from Ham Radio Outlet. Uh, they told me it had been bought by a school and never really used. And I got it for like half price. I mean, these things sell for around a thousand. Between 900 and 1,000, I got it for 450 shipped. I mean, can't beat that. But it came with one of the tubes broken. No big deal. You can always order another tube. But I want to get the thing running today because you know I have no patience. So I called a couple guys in my club and got a hold of the local boat anchor guy. And he's like, "Oh yeah, 811A tubes. Come on out." So he gave me three tubes that were matched. So that'll be real nice. If you guys are unfamiliar with RF amplifiers, first thing to know is that the tube types are deadly. We're talking upwards of 2,000 volts. That'll solder your butthole shut right quick. So this is the power supply section here. Those are the bleeder resistors for the capacitor bank down here, big transformer. This is your RF band switching. And you can see that comes right here to this board. Got a nice little inductor there. Then we have the uh, caps there. Then we have some more band switching on the back. And that guy that you see right down in there, that is your RF choke. That keeps the RF only going one way through the amplifier, so it doesn't come back. And then this here is your safety interlock switch. It won't operate without that on. So one more thing I want to try, or check, before I put this thing together. I'll get a multimeter and... Uh, make sure that these fuses weren't damaged because it looks like you know UPS kicked the box up and down the street a couple times all right I'll show you guys when it's up and running there we go the amplifier has added to the station there's my FTDX 1200 and a new 1.5 kilowatt peak envelope power meter. Of course, we got our monitors, computer, 2 meter, 440. That's a 50 watt job. Gets me in connection with the, uh, the local repeaters. Does pretty well. So, let's see if uh, this frequency is free. I've already tuned it up. And you'll be able to see the uh, power output up here. Is this frequency in use? Ah, of course, I have to put it on operate. Is this frequency in use? WW8PR. So I'm not driving it all the way. You're seeing we're getting about 500 watts pep there. Let's try it again. Is this frequency in use? WW8PR. Okay, give it a second, but I don't think there's anybody there. See, I got the break in there. We got the keypad for the voice memory keyer. All we have to do is hit a button. CQ, 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 CQ. Here is Whiskey, Whiskey 8, Papa Radio, WW8PR. CQ, CQ, hello CQ, here is WW8PR, Whiskey, Whiskey 8, Papa Radio, 
Charlie C2 and standing by. Hello, good afternoon. This is Paul, Papa Alpha Uniform Lima, Whiskey Whiskey 8 Papa Radio in Toronto, Ohio. How are you doing this afternoon, sir? Well, thank you very much, Glenn. Uh, you're sounding very good here. You're about a 5'8", a 5'8", into eastern Ohio. I'm running about 500 watts here on a uh, new amplifier I just added to the station, the Ameritron AL811, and it's going into a uh, Gap Challenger DX, which is a, a basically a vertical dipole antenna. And uh, you're my first contact with the amplifier. Over. How do I sound? Well, thank you, Glenn. Thank you for that report. Well, for a home-built radio, you're sounding really good. I'm familiar with that LM386. That's a uh, op-amp audio amplifier. Very nice little circuit. And uh, you are certainly carrying on the spirit of ham radio by building your own gear. Over. Back in the 90s, gunspot cycle. 
Now is a novice. And novice is about uh, 10 meter bone privileges. And uh, I really make use of those uh, 10 meter bone privileges with about 3 or 4 watts of power. And I all made four well on the Yankee and had a lot of fun for about uh, oh, a couple of years. The band was really good. And then 17 meters opened up. And I upgraded to General, and uh, 17 was a really great band. Uh, it's still okay, I guess. Haven't been on for a while, but being on a radio, it wasn't really difficult. Well, Glenn, thank you very much for the contact. You're fading a little bit here. So I will uh, let you go, and uh, I wish you well in your contacts, and I will uh, see you further down the log. 73 from WW8PR. Well, guys, there you have it. My first contact with the new amplifier and a guy who is really carrying out the uh, spirit of ham radio building his own uh, transceiver. That's just awesome. <laughs> That's way beyond me. I'm not an RF guy. I hope you guys like this little video. Um, I know you're not all hams or into radio, but just wanted to show off my new toy. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.